Well, friends, welcome to Let's Talk in English here on PTS. Get ready to learn something new today. I'm Andrea, and I'm Gabe, and I am a little sad because, well, Olga is sad. I don't know why, but but we'll find out. That's the title of our lesson today. Olga is sad. Well, friends, try to be happy because we have some key words here.、Uh, the first one is New Year's. Two words, New Year's. Let's celebrate New Year's with a party. Our next key word is famous. Famous. Tiger Woods is a famous person. Story. Story. Kenny is reading a story in the newspaper. Rainbow. Rainbow. Look at the colors of the rainbow. Well, friends, let's look at these key words together again. The first one is New Year's. New Year's. Famous. Famous. Story. Story. Rainbow. Rainbow. Okay. Before we get into our story for today, we need a mission, don't we? Hey, Eddie. Hey, 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 hey! New Year's is coming. Are、New、you excited?、Year's、well, is yes.、Coming. New Year's <laughs> is always exciting. Yeah. Are you excited? Oh, I am excited. I can't wait、well, for hey, a new year. Let's celebrate New yeah, Year's. Uh, well, we could do that. We, we could do have like a party. A New Year's party. Yeah, hey, that would be special. Yeah, but but first, yeah, let's have today's mission. <sighs> Okay.、Sorry. Okay. Today's mission. Why is Olga sad? Why is Olga sad? I don't know, and I really want to find out. Will you find out with me? Here is your tea. Thank you. Olga, are you okay? No. I am sad. You can talk to me. I miss my family. I'm sorry, Olga. Can I go home? I don't know. Can you? Maybe. I can celebrate New Year's with my family. Great. Maybe Olga can celebrate New Year's with her family. Well, friends, we have learned some things here in this conversation. There are some good phrases to know. At the beginning, Renee asks Olga, "Olga, are you okay?" Now, is this what we normally ask somebody? No, it's not. But Renee can see that Olga is sad. She's not happy like she usually is. If you can see that something is wrong, you can ask someone. Are you okay? But if you don't know if something is wrong, then you should probably ask, "Hey, how are you?" That's a good thing to ask. Well, we see another phrase in here: "You can talk to me." If you see that someone is sad, you can also ask them, "Do you need to talk?" You can talk to me. And when we are feeling sad, it's always nice to have a friend who you can talk to. Well, why is Olga sad? Hey, that's our mission today. Why is Olga sad? Why is Olga sad? Olga misses her family. She misses her family. She would probably like to celebrate New Year's with them. And we can learn these key words: New Year's, New Year's. This is January first. Of every year, that is the beginning of the new year. That's true. We celebrate the beginning of a new year, but it's also a holiday where you remember the good things that happened in the past year. You know, it's nice to share good things or special memories 
from the year that is finishing. So what will you do for New Year's? Another way to talk about this holiday is by talking about New Year's holiday or New Year's Day. What will you do on New Year's Day? Many people do something special on New Year's Day. It's usually a holiday, a day where you do not have to work or go to school. But maybe I can't get a plane ticket. New Year's is tomorrow. Then you can celebrate New Year's with us. Really? Yes. We are going to a special party, and we're watching The Wizard of Oz. What is that? It is a famous old movie. I love it. Well, friends, there's a special party. Maybe Olga can join Renee and friends at this special party. Now, Gabe, what makes the party special? Well, they're going to watch a special movie called *The Wizard of Oz*. This is a very famous movie, right? It is a famous movie. Well, friends, let's look at this famous keyword. The word is famous. Famous. Now, if something is famous, that means many people know about it. A famous movie is a movie many people know about or have watched. So we hear about a famous movie in this conversation, but of course there are many famous things. There are famous cities in the world: Los Angeles, Paris. Those are famous cities in the world. Do you know any famous people? Ooh, I know a famous person. You know a famous person? I do. What? Who? His name is Gabe. He's a famous teacher on Let's Talk in English. Andrea, I'm a famous teacher. Yes. Well, you're pretty famous. Well, then you're pretty famous too. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Now, Gabe, you did talk about famous places and famous cities. In our conversation, we talk about a famous movie. There are also famous books. Gabe, can you think of a famous book? A famous book. Well, one of my favorite books is very famous. It's called Great Expectations. Wow. That is a famous book. Many people read that book. So, friends, think of something that is famous and tell someone about it in English. What is the story about? It's about a girl. She goes to an interesting place, but she misses her home. I understand. There's also a famous song in the movie. It's somewhere over the rainbow. I like that song. <laughs> Me too. Olga, I like you. You are part of our small town family. Thank you, Renee. Red and orange and yellow and green. Okay. Red and orange and yellow and green. Blue and dark blue and purple. Blue and dark blue and purple. You can sing a rainbow. Sing a rainbow. You can sing a rainbow. Andrea, I don't know that song. Well, Gabe, it's it's a special song. It's called "Sing a Rainbow." Sing a rainbow, but it's not a very famous song. But somewhere over the rainbow is famous. Well, maybe one day my song will be famous. It, Could be famous one day, but for now, let's learn this key word. The word is rainbow. Say it again. Rainbow. A rainbow is something that you can see in the sky. It has many colors, and you see it after it rains. That's a rainbow. Yes, it's exciting to see a rainbow in the sky. You usually see a rainbow after it rains. And when the sun comes out again, so look in the sky to see this beautiful sight. Andrea, have you ever seen a double rainbow? Yes, Gabe, I have seen a double rainbow. It was wonderful. They are pretty cool. A double rainbow is when there is one rainbow on the bottom and another rainbow on the top. Have you seen a double rainbow, friends? Well, let's look at this next keyword. It is.
story. Story. A story is something that you can read or that you hear about. You learn what happens in a story. That is true. Olga tells us that she understands the story of the movie. She understands. Well, why does she understand the story in this movie, The Wizard of Oz? Well, Olga is also a girl. She's in an interesting place. She's in America. That's not her home, and she misses her home. She misses her home, and she misses her family. Well, Renee says to Olga that she is part. Of their family. That's nice. That is nice. Yes. Yes. Word power. It's time for word power. This is our last word power before next year. We learned a lot of new words this year. Let's see if you can remember some of them. At New Year's, you can send cards to your friends and family. Tell them Happy New Year. Card, card. You may go to a New Year's party. Parties are fun. Here you can celebrate the New Year with food, games, and friends. Party, party. We are celebrating New Year's. There are decorations in the room. They make the party more fun, and they make the room look nice. Decoration, decoration. How many coins did you put in your piggy bank? Piggy banks come in many different shapes and sizes. People put money into piggy banks to save it. How much money did you save this year? Piggy bank. Piggy bank. What time is it? Look at a clock. You may have a clock on your wall, on your desk, or in your car. When it's 12 o'clock a.m., it's 2009. Everyone is excited when it's 12 o'clock a.m. on New Year's Eve. Clock. Clock. Well, happy New Year, everyone. Join us next year to learn new words. Then you'll have even more word power. Conversation replay. Here is your tea. Thank you. Olga, are you okay? No, I am sad. You can talk to me. I miss my family. I'm sorry, Olga. Can I go home? I don't know. Can you? Maybe. I can celebrate New Year's with my family. Great. But maybe I can't get a plane ticket. New Year's is tomorrow. Then you can celebrate New Year's with us. Really? Yes. We are going to a special party, and we're watching The Wizard of Oz. What is that? It is a famous old movie. I love it. What is the story about? It's about a girl. She goes to an interesting place, but she misses her home. I understand. There's also a famous song in the movie. It's somewhere over the rainbow. I like that song. <laughs> Me too. Olga, I like you. You are part of our small town family. Thank you, Renee. Calendar phrase. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for 2009. Gabe, you can't wait for 2009? No, I can't wait for 2009. Do you know why? Why? Because that's today's calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. The phrase、uh. is "I can't wait for 2009." I can't wait 
for 2009. 2009 is the year that is coming up. Are you ready for it? Can you wait? Well, I can't. Well, I can't wait. I'm very excited. I am too, and I can't wait for today's calendar phrase skit. Let's watch it. I can't wait for 2009. I can't wait for 2009. I can't wait for 2009. Why? I'm going to have a new brother. What? My mom is having another baby. I can't wait for 2009. Really? Congratulations! You are going to have a baby brother. I can't wait for 2009. I can't wait for 2009. I can't wait for 2009. You know, I can't wait for the question of the day with Eddie. Hey, Eddie. I can't wait either. Okay, good. Do you have it? Uh, 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 I don't have the question of the day. You hey, don't? you're supposed to. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I have the question of the day. Here it is. How do you celebrate New Year's? How do you celebrate New Year's? I usually celebrate New Year's with my family and friends. It's a fun time to get together and think about all the special things that happened that year and look forward to a new year together. That's true. Friends, how do you celebrate New Year's? Talk about this sometime today. Thank you for joining us here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where you know... Learning English can be fun! Goodbye! Bye. Goodbye!